Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFrodo.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the app SD Scanner, which is another scanning app to scan documents and business cards and things into your phone or your tablet. But this is a really cool one, it's newer and uh, has some great features. So uh, we'll check it out in a minute. Right before we talk about that, I want to remind you that this review is sponsored in part by Antitags.com. So head over to antitags.com after the review and check out some really cool uh, Android themed NFC tags, NFC keychains, and just find out what in the world you can do with NFC. It's cool, I promise. So check them out after the review. So there are several scanners on the market and there's one that I've reviewed before which I still think is an excellent scanner. Um, but this one came along and I started playing with it and checking it out and uh, it's really, really cool, uh, really well done uh, scanning app. So let's hop on my phone. I'm going to show you some of the features of it and uh, how it works and why I definitely think it's one you should consider as your scanning app for your phone or your tablet. So there you see the icon right there for SD Scanner, which is a scanning app. And uh, so we're going to open it up, get your little splash screen. Even the splash screen is kind of cool. It's, uh, it's very minimalistic, which I like. Um, and you'll see you have your basic four categories here business cards documents receipts and whiteboards um, if you click the list button it changes to list view icon view if you click the plus button you can always add a new folder so i'm going to add a new folder and someone's going to make fun of the way i say folder i know because every time i say it somebody does I can't help it it's my southern roots coming through um, so this is my folder so you can create as many of those as you want uh, even within a folder, you can create a new folder besides just doing a new document. So you can really uh, organize this to make it easy to find what you need to find. One of the many things uh, that's great about this app. Um, if you click the little menu button over here, you have My Scans, Stars, uh, General Settings, Sync, and then some help features. The help features are really good. I'm just going to click that just so you can see. They really describe each aspect of the app and the help. Um, some apps have a help feature that is useless. This one is really good. So if you get this app, um, you can uh, use that to help uh, jog your memory about how to do certain things. Um, some of the settings, you have OCR settings. You can change to English or whatever language you want. And the batch scan settings, which you can use auto crop to scan the default enhancement mode you want to use and you can decide if you want to use a system camera but you cannot do batch scanning if you do. So I recommend just leaving it how it comes as far as that goes. And uh, let's see, then sync. Um, you can enable sync and you can sync uh, scans to Google Drive. You select your Google Drive account, you can include the PDF and you can also select if you want it to sync only over Wi-Fi which is definitely a, a good idea. Alright, so let's go into business cards. Um, you'll see one I did earlier, but I'm going to do another one. Uh, so if I want to add, add a uh, scan something, then I click the little picture button up there. And uh, I'm going to use this card. And I'm going to hopefully put this where you can see it. There we go. I'm going to do the best I can to line this up well. And then you click the little white button. And it takes a picture. And there you go. Um, you can turn it back to uh, uh, portrait mode and you can uh, rotate. So let's rotate. And you'll see that as you're, when you hit the corner and put the corner, you'll see right up here at the top corner comes up magnified so you can make sure you're putting it exactly on that corner. It tries to auto crop for you and actually this did a pretty good job but I want to show you that feature anyway. That one's about dead on. That one's pretty much dead on. That corner's a little folded so I'm going to move it out just a little bit. A little bit more. Alright and then when you're done you just uh, click the uh, check button and it does its thing. And 
and there you go. Um, now it has these automatic things you can do, lighten, smartify, gray it out, black and white. Um, obviously if you're doing a black and white document that would probably probably be best. Um, but this is not a black and white document. So we're going to leave it original. Um, you can see that little light in the middle. That's just because I used flash and it's a glossy surface. So ideally you would do this in, in better lighting and not use flash. But I have my lighting set up for my camera. Um, I, what I love is you can also just as quickly hit these settings and change the settings yourself. Besides the automatic settings that uh, are in there. Which is kind of cool. Um, once you're done, you can, uh, oh, there's a settings button up here, just to show you, that brings back the, uh, if you want to use those. I'm going to click the check button, and it's going to save. And there you go. Um, let's see, if you long press and then click the menu button, you can copy, you can cut, you can rename, let's rename this. Uh, Disney, it's a copy of my Disney pass from the other day. Um, long press again. Uh, you can also PDF, you can delete, you can re-enhance, so you can go back and re-enhance or re-edit, which is a cool feature. Uh, if you collect, click the share button, you can share it as a PDF, or you can share it as an image, and you can share it through any of your shareable methods available to you on your Android phone. And this is the OCR button. If you click this, then it's going to OCR. You'll see the little OCR in progress. Um, it does take a while, and it may not necessarily work on everything. Um, like this, it probably wouldn't work very well on this, but it can OCR some of the stuff on there. Um, once you OCR something, you can uh, go back and uh, uh, you can search the text on it and even copy and paste, which is cool. Um, now, if I want to add something to this particular document, I can click that camera button and go back and take another picture. I could also click this plus uh, right here. There's like a plus in a picture. If I hit that, then I can just import an image or a PDF from my uh, phone that I already have on my phone, which is kind of cool. You see this little orange uh, document with a search thing on it? That's an indication that it has been OCR'd, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, and now you see this drop down. You can drop down, you can make notes. I'm going to click import OCR. So it just imported everything it OCR'd. Um, so it did a pretty good job. It OCR'd a lot of that red lettering, even though that was very difficult. Um, which is kind of cool. So let's go back and let's go back and let's do something else. Uh, let's go to uh, go up. Now let's go to documents and we're going to go plus and we're going to go document and we'll just leave it document two and we're going to go into that and we're going to bring up this it's going to be difficult. I don't know if I'm going to, I'm going to probably have to hold this further away from. So you see that little icon right there. I hit that. That's how you're telling it I want to batch. I'm going to do a batch scan. So I'm going to do this. Instead of doing the whole page so that you can kind of see what I'm doing, I'm going to do just like a paragraph. So we'll do that, and we'll move over and do this paragraph, and then when you're done, you can see it tells you how many documents you have, and then when I'm done, I'm going to click the check, and now it's processing both of those. Because those were middle of pages, it probably has absolutely no idea what in the world I was trying to do. So I'm going to have to manually select the paragraph that I was doing. So that's good for that one. Let's 
kind of process. As you can see, it is, it's just a nifty app. It's uh, a really great scanner and works really well. Let's black and white this one and see how that does since it is text on a page. Yeah, pretty good. Sort of a gray skeleton. Yeah, I'll leave it like that. And I'm going to click check and that's going to go right to the next thing that I would, that I did. check. Take that paragraph and let's um, lighten that a little bit. There we go. That looks better. And we'll check that. So you can see you can batch scan. Um, obviously if you're doing this uh, without trying to work around a camera and limited lighting like I'm doing right now then uh, you can see it would be really cool. And you can star anything and that way, if you go back in here and you click starred, then it will bring up just your starred documents. Um, again, you can always switch from list view to icon view, regardless of what screen you're in. You can also click the search button and search for documents by name. So if I say Disney, uh, and click, then uh, it's, you can see it's finding a, uh, what it can find. Uh, right now I'm probably not in the right place to be searching through all my documents, but let's see, go to, there we go, let's go there and now let's go Disney. And there, it found that right there, and so there it is, it found Disney inside of there. Um, which is really cool. Uh, again, it's very, uh, if you want to, uh, when you're inside of here, you, if you, it's open, you can rename, re-enhance, or edit. And then if you click this little plus button right here, you can add an annotation. So I can add an annotation to this since it's a PDF, um, which is cool uh, to be able to do that inside of this app, to be able to annotate, an annotate a document. So again, just a lot of really cool features, really great scanner. Um, as of right now, it's free on the App Store, uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I don't know how long that's going to uh, be free for. It may not be by the time you see this video, depending on when you watch it. But right now it is, and it works great, and it's fully featured. So uh, definitely a cool uh, uh, scanning app to check out and keep on your phone. That was the app, SD Scanner. As you can see, it is a fully featured scanning app. Uh, with a lot of, uh, it just has a lot of great set of features. It's organized uh, very simply and very intuitively and uh, really easy to figure out and put to use. So I highly recommend you check it out on the Play Store, especially if you don't already have a scanning app. Anyway, that is it for this review. If you like this review, click the like button. Remember, it's not about whether or not you like me. It's about whether or not you like the review. Anyway, uh, if you know anyone who can benefit maybe from having an app like this, then please share this review with them on Facebook, Reddit, uh, uh, Google+, Twitter. All those ways are down there, so click the appropriate button. Uh, most importantly, don't forget to check out my channel. Besides app reviews, I also have task group tutorials, NFC reviews, product reviews, dog product reviews even. So you can check all those out. And that, that is about it. Until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.